What's up YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. Today I'm with you to do another NECA figure unboxing. Today we are doing the Freddy Krueger retro cloth figure from Wes Craven's New Nightmare. It's a mouthful. Alright, he is right there. Let's grab this dude off the shelf. Alright Freddy, it is time oh, to get you out of this box. As always, I hope everybody out there is doing well and staying safe. All right, Retro Cloth Freddy Krueger. I actually wasn't even going to buy this thing, to be honest with you. But then I got into a real bad habit of buying up all of the Retro Cloth figures. So there's Freddy. He looks pretty good. It appears that he's got a trench coat in the back there, so that should be pretty neat to see once it's out of the package. Alright, here is the packaging on the back. And, alright, let's crack this guy open. If I make too much noise, I'll just mute the audio. All right. And it appears that it's going to make too much noise, so I'll be right back. Yeah, that definitely made a lot of noise. All right, so here's a better look at the card on the inside. What I've been doing with these is I bought a couple of little $1 stands from Dollar Tree. And being as though these retro cloth figures don't come with the really nice box that the Ultimate figures do, I have been propping the cards up on these little stands that I've been buying. So this is really cool. This will look good sitting behind him. All right, let's get to the actual figure here. Alright, first up is his... Well, the whole thing's coming out. Alright, I'm done with that. Get that out of the way. Right, this fell out, so we'll look at this first. There's his hat. It's got that green tinge to it, if you remember from the movie. Or just like you'll remember from the movie, I should say. Alright, so there's his hat. Let's see, how is this thing? Alright, his trench coat is in here with tape. That's easy to remove. Get this tape off of here. I have not seen anybody do an unboxing of this figure yet, so this is new to me completely. All right, so there's his trench coat. It's actually pretty neat. I don't have any figures with trench coats up until now. I think it's neat. It's got the little Freddy Krueger sweater lining on the inside of it. Very, very cool. All right, now let's get to the actual figure himself he comes with this here was his hat there's an alternate head and there's his actual face I will not pausing or pose him or display him with that uh, alternate head all right let me get that out of there there it is that's more or less like a Freddy demon head which is very cool but I like the look of Freddy Krueger in Wes Craven's New Nightmare quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to display him with that head. All right, let me cut him out of here. Mute the audio again. All right. There he is. I really like that glove. I think that's so cool. Well, actually, it's not even so much a glove as it is basically an extension of his hand in New Nightmare. Really, really cool. The detail's awesome. Very cool. So he, like all the other NECA figures, he's got art articulation in his wrist and in his elbow. He's got it in his bicep, his shoulder. All right, and on his legs, he's got articulation in the ankles, his knees bend, his hips bend, his waist, yep, he's got articulation in his waist, obviously his head. So yeah, he's pretty poseable. He moves around really well. 
quite a bit of really good de uh, detailing on him, too. As usual, NECA's figures are just always amazing. And he looks really cool. He looks like he's almost, he could be something out of Hellraiser. If you remember the, uh, God, what was his name? Can't remember the guy's name. The beginning of Hellraiser. I'm Frank. The, uh, the brother who was actually being hunted by the Cenobites. Tell me who you are. Frank. It's not Jack. Can't remember. Not even gonna try anymore. It's not worth the brain power. It's Uncle Frank. But that's what he reminds me of. Very, very cool. All right, he's got he's got these big boots on, and he's got. If you remember in the movie, Freddy Krueger was wearing leather pants, which is the one thing that I really it just irked me for some reason. I really didn't care for my Freddy Krueger to have leather pants on, leather pants and a green hat. I don't know. It's not nuts about the hat, not nuts about leather pants on Freddy Krueger, not nuts about these big boots, but all in all, the figure is actually really cool. All right, so let me get him set up and we will take a closer look. So that's it. That's my unboxing of NECA's Retro Cloth Freddy Krueger. New Nightmare Freddy. I like the look of Freddy, and I like this glove a lot. The leather pants don't look bad on this figure either. I don't mind the hat on this figure. I really mind this trench coat. I don't like this thing at all. I mean, look at him. He looks so puffy. He almost looks like he's hot. I, in his sweater... Because everything bunches up when you put the jacket on him, or the, the coat on him, it pushes the sweater up his sleeves, and it's just, it's a whole thing there, and I'm not real crazy about that. So, after I get done filming this, before I put him back on that shelf, I'm taking this jacket off of him. The sweater looks a little bit big on him anyway, and with this coat on there, it kind of looks ridiculous. I get the idea with the coat. And I think it's a really neat look for the for the coat. Now, the look of the coat on him, I do not like. So I'm not going to display him like that. But the figure itself, the sculpt is amazing. The glove is ridiculous. His hand looks great. I like the boots, the pants. It, it, it looks really, really good. But everything together with that jacket is just way too much. Or coat, trench coat, is just way too much. So I'm definitely going to take that off of him before I display him. All right, well, that's going to do it. I'm going to get out of here. Let me know what you guys think of this retro cloth figure and whether or not you think I should or should not leave the jacket on him. I have a real strong feeling that you guys are going to, not, you're going to agree with me. The, the coat's too much. He reminds me of Ralphie's little brother, Randy, from A Christmas Story. If he falls down, he's not going to be able to get up. All right, I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Let's get you out of that jacket. Later, folks.